Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to FTB Revelation. That's right, folks, we're back in our modded world doing all the cool modded things. Uh, last episode, which was a live stream, uh, we did some stuff right up here, uh, and we're going to take a look at that here in just a minute. But this is episode 40, folks, so you know what that means. It means that we're going to have a world download at the end of this thing. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to have to... Well, the, today was supposed to be a live stream, right? But we had some stuff come up around the house that I had to take care of, and it just kind of cut into my streaming schedule and uh, so here we are we're, we're doing some stuff so um so yeah we're gonna take a look at what we did last episode we, we uh in the live stream last uh last live stream what we did was we kind of uh updated our auto processing stuff um so we got these things right here we got our pulverizers and we got our furnaces um notice that they are upgraded to signalum uh we we ended the stream last time with the inability to uh craft our um to craft our up our conversion kits but uh, i fixed that and that was all because of recipes it was all because of auto crafting recipes and stuff but right now things are uh, things are working pretty well um we have cleared out, check this out, we have cleared out almost all of our ores. The only ore that we're actually not processing right now is gold, and there's a reason why. Gold actually has a, uh, a byproduct. Uh, when, you crack, when you do gold, you actually can get a byproduct of cinnabar, and I've got no way to get cinnabar out of our pulverizers, and so if, if there's cinnabar left in the system, then it it, it locks it up. So we're going to work on that today. We're going to get that all taken care of. Um, and then we're also going to take a look at what else we've gotten done. Um, so right now we're doing mana infused ore. We're doing tin. We're doing aluminum, lead, uh, iron, silver, platinum, copper, and nickel. I'm going to add gold back to the mix. We're going to add another uh, export bus here. But I want to change one of our furnaces upstairs so that it will accept gold, process the gold, but also remove the cinnabar from the system and send it back to our inventory, right? So let's go ahead and take care of that. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and take that. Um, so let's go up here, right? And in order to do this, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to stick a uh, we're going to need to stick a filter. Yeah, we need to stick a filter on this puppy right here, right? So the 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 input to this is going to have to get filtered so that it will only accept uh, gold. And these other inputs back here, these are going to have to get filtered so that they don't accept gold. So we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six uh, filters, right? So let's get some filters. So filter. Um, we have four reinforced ones, right? And we can craft those. And it doesn't need to be anything super duper special. So let's go ahead and just make two more of those. So one, two, uh, we'll get those made. Start, thanks so much. Oh, I made some more of those. We can put those in there. Um, anyway, so let's get this filter, get these filters. We'll need to get some gold, right? So gold, uh, we want gold ore. Because we want to be able to tell this that we, I don't think I need that cobblestone anymore. We're only going to need like four pieces maybe to to fix this up once we're done. Oh, we got a whole stack there. Um, so we want to take this, right? And we want to set it up so that this pulverizer right here is the uh, is the one that only accepts gold. And I'm doing it to this one because what I can do is I can take the output, I can take the side here, and instead of making this an output out the bottom, I can make it an output out the side, right? So take this and make this just a regular output from there going down. So that'll that'll it'll get pulverize it'll get gold and it'll pulverize it. And then we can take the, the pulverized gold and ship it down to the redstone furnace, but then out the side, this side right here, we can take and put our cinnabar cinnabar back into an item duct, which will feed it back into our return chest. Easy peasy, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, let me get our filter. So this filter here is going to whitelist only gold, right? Right. Uh, now the rest of these filters though, this one here is going to blacklist gold. Cool? Yeah. So let's get, the, let's get the rest of these all set up. I'm gonna go ahead and set these up off camera. I'll come back to you in just a minute and we will uh, we'll progress on from there. 
Okay, so we want to add gold back to the back to the system here, but as you can see, our export bus is uh, is full. So we're going to need another export bus. So export, uh, which we have many of. So we'll get one of those. We're going to need a couple of upgrades. Uh, so actually, it's not upgrades; it's actually cards, uh, and we're going to need acceleration cards. So let's go ahead and just get. Let's just get two because that's all that's in this one, right? And I don't necessarily need gold to process any faster than uh, than it processes than any other any of the other metals process. Oh, and we're gonna need some cables too. So cable, uh, these should do. Uh, sure. Okay. So let's come around this side, right? And this should be fine. So let's go ahead and put you. Ooh, excuse me, little burp there. You there, we're gonna have you export gold. We're gonna give you two upgrades, like so. And then we just need a cable. So we'll put you, eh. Actually, you know what, let's do it this way. Let's put you, put you, oh, it picked it up, darn it. That stinks. Uh, export bus, I've got the, uh, I've got a, whoops. I've got a uh, ranged collector that picks stuff up when I break it over here, so. Um, yeah, it's down. It's down there. It's for the Batania stuff, and it, apparently I was too close. So you know, let's put this on this side because if I put it on that side, then it'll try to add onto this and add another channel. We really don't need to do that. So let's put you there, and again, we'll put you so that you select gold. Oh, and we need our two. Oh, we need our two acceleration cards. So cards. Boom. One, two. Cool. Again, not that we need this thing to be fast. We just need it to, to process stuff just like it does over here. And then we'll go like this, like this, right? So now it should start exporting gold. Yes, export gold. And export gold. Are you going? Yeah, there it goes. So now if we come up here, gold should totally be a thing, right? So here we have gold getting processed, which is awesome. Um, but we haven't gotten any cinnabar yet. And I'm hoping we'll get some cinnabar here real soon because I, I haven't done the uh, I haven't done the auto exporting of that yet. I've got the I've got it set up to do it, but I haven't added the I haven't added the cables yet or the ducts. So aha! So now we got cinnabar, right? But cinnabar can't doesn't have any place to go. It can't go down here to the furnace. It actually has to get exported back to the system. So to do that, we will uh, we will add some impulse item ducts. I think we just need a couple of these. Let's just grab like four. Um, not that I think we need that many, but we'll give it a shot. And then we'll put you right here, right? And then right that. And we don't want you to go, uh, we don't want you to go in there. So let's put you like that. And let's get a wrench, or hammer, I guess is what it's called. And go away, sure. So now it's actually working. So let's get another piece of cinnabar in there, I'm hoping. We should have a fair bit of gold to go in this thing. Actually, we don't, do we? We really don't have a lot of gold. Put you in there. I'm gonna guess it's working. So let's check our inventory and see if we've got cinnabar in here now. So sin, we have 700 cinnabar. Um, because uh, when I came back through here once before, not only are we getting it from, I think we're getting it from one of our miners, like a resource miner or something like that, but we're also, um, when I came back through here, every one of these from the processing of the other gold that I had, every one of these was just about full of cinnabar. So, and we had thousands, we had thousands of gold. So, so that takes care of that. This is actually rocking and rolling now. This is actually exactly what we want it to be. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, so let's close you, yeah. And I think we can probably close you as well. This project right here, this is done. Um, with the exception of, we need to do some decorating here, right? And so, how did we want to decorate this? I'm thinking that I want to use some kind of either stair or chiseled, um, chisel and bits type block. So, we're talking about using, uh, let's see, uh, laboratory blocks? I've got these laboratory blocks that we use downstairs. Um, those could be possible. We also have concrete, right? So we've got concrete, and we were using black and gray concrete for floors. I don't want to do that here, but we could 
take this light gray concrete, right? I think this could be a thing. So if I do you like this, I bring you just right across like this, right? If I do that, okay? Right now, it looks okay, right? It looks okay. But let's see if we can make it look better. Let's see if we can get a chisel. So chisel from chisel and bits. That would be this thing. And let's get our bit bags. So you and you and you. And actually, whoa, actually, we're kind of getting full on bit bags. So can I make another one? I probably could. Can I make a bit bag? No, I don't have anything to make bit bags with. What? I don't have any wool. Let's make some wool. Um, I can craft wool. So let's make eight of those, I guess. Right? Wool. And then a uh, bag. So we'll make a bit bag, because we're probably going to need another one of these anyway. So there's that, and a bit, a bot, bit, there we go. Um, let's just make it out of you, I suppose. One of you, gear. that gives us another bit bag. Um, now, let's get our chisel, and we'll put you like this, and we'll do you like this. That's on the same material. We don't want to have it on the same material. We want to have it on, ooh, let's go with medium cube for right at the moment do we want to go medium cube small cube or single bit i don't think we want to do single bit that's too small um i don't think we want to do plain let's do i don't know i don't know what i want to do no 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 uh do i want to do an angle do i want to do like an angle block or do i want to do um like a stair step block. I think I want to do an angle block. So let's try this. So you come here, right? And let's get our chisel and let's change the mode again. Let's go to here. Let's go to line. Uh, and let's go ahead and get rid of you, right? And then you and you. Uh, and we want to do this all the way back to here, I guess. So come one out like that, that, that. At, at, uh, and and kind of just chisel this out in a diagonal. So let me go ahead and break this down uh, and make it an angled piece. And then we'll come back and we'll see if we can make it look like something. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've been playing with this a little bit and I decided instead of like a straight angle, I wanted to do more of like a, uh, like a crown molding kind of a thing. And I've been playing with this shape a little bit and I think I kind of like this. So if you're looking at it from the front, you can tell that there's something there besides like a flat slant. Uh, and if you come from come at it from the side, you can also tell that uh, tell that there's you know there's a definite shape there as well. I'm not sure. So that's one, two, three. Do I want to do that? I don't think I want to do that. Uh, so Alt Undo. Um, I might want to round this out some more, maybe? Maybe I want to round that out some more. I'm not sure. Um, no, I think we're good. I think it's actually good the way that I have it. So let's go ahead and break this. Or actually, no, don't break this. Let's get ourselves a pattern. So I'm not a pattern, but a schematic or whatever it is. So chisel, uh, this thing right here, a positive chisel design. So we'll put you there. And if we shift click this, that is blank now. It's just written. Uh, Alt. No. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I. Uh, is that what I want? Alt, place, impose, placement, additive. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I want it on replace, but I actually want this to be. I want it to be blank. How did I make this blank? Was it in here? It was in there. Yeah, okay. So this is this is the pattern that I want to use. So now we're just going to click it on there, right? And it should be on replace, right? So if we come up here, now we should be able to click that. Yeah. See how this looks going all the way across. Boom, 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 boom. How's that look? I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I kind of like that it's, um, I kind of like that it has a kind of a texture to it. Now I do think I want to, I do think that I want to do this. So here's what I, here's what I want to do. I want to come down here and where's my chisel? 
Let's give me this. And I want to get rid of this, right? Uh, yeah, I want to get rid of that. And then I want to get rid of this and this. Yeah. So let's rewrite this now. And we'll do, we'll do this again. So click. And then we want to make sure that we are on replace, right? And do that. Yeah. Because I wanted to give it a little bit of space between the tops of the machines and the and the bottom of the of the decoration, right? I think that looks good. What do you guys think? You guys are gonna have to tell me what you think about that down in the comments. Um, I'm kind of excited about this. We'll have to see what you guys say. Um, we might need to do something here, possibly, right? We might need to make that not that. We might need to give this a little bit of texture over here on the sidewall, but I think that's gonna be okay. You guys will have to let me know. Um, okay, so we can probably get rid of this. Let's go ahead and make this all same material and skadoosh, go away, cool. Uh, that should give us, whew, yeah, that's gonna give us a lot of almost full bit bags, but that's okay. Um, all right, let me round up my thoughts, put away some stuff in my inventory and all that, and I'll come back to you and we'll decide what we're gonna do next. All right, so I was looking at what I could do next, um, and one of the things that I thought of was, let's get some upgrade kits going so that we can uh, upgrade all of our thermal expansion stuff into the, the next tier, which is the Signalum tier. And I can't do that because I don't have enough snowballs, but I do have a way to make snowballs, right? And that is right over here. So what we need to do though, is we need to get it so that snowballs get brought back into our system. So right here is our glacial precipitator. I knew I had one someplace, but uh, it sadly didn't have uh, a way to do so. Um, but we need to get it so that it's can, it's bringing in water. So let's see, can I do that? Can I do that? I should be able to do that, right? You are set for input. You need to be set for output. So yeah, output, right? Nope. Um, output from there into input to there. That should work, shouldn't it? Uh, this is the front, right? That is totally the front. So, uh, bring water in. Auto input unavailable. Why is auto input unavailable? Uh, that's not cool. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Why you no do, why you no do that? Auto output enabled. Auto input is unavailable. Hmm. Um, okay, so we need to get water into this thing. So how are we going to get water into this thing? Well, how about we do this? Let's take you and take you and we'll put this right. Uh, actually, we don't necessarily want to use this portable tank, do we? We want to actually use a fluid tank because we should have around here someplace, uh, we should have a fluid tank, uh, an ender tank for fluids, right? So let's take a look at that real quick. Come back over here. Yeah, we totally have an ender tank. So that is the light blue, light blue, light blue. Okay, so let's see if we can find an ender tank. So ender tank. Uh, we have an ender chest. Can I make an ender tank? Ender tank. Can I make you? Uh, no, because I don't have a cauldron. So let's make a cauldron first. No, I said let's make a cauldron first. Thanks. So you, then you, then you. Cool. Now we should be able to make this. Excellent. Thank you. And then we need some light blue dye. So uh, light blue. Light blue dye. Do I have any light blue dye? I have two floral light blue powder. I need one more. So give me you. And then we're going to need that pestle and mortar. Pestle. Uh, that would be this thing. Cool. You go away. You go there. You go there. And you go there like that. Cool. So now we should have a water tank. Cool. And we should be able to put this. Hey, I said come here. Thank you. We should be able to do boom, boom, and boom. And that should be water. Cool. Ha ha. So you come with me. Now this might actually change how this thing works. So let's go up here and figure that out. Hey, my phone's making noise. That's cool. That's cool and all. Uh, let's go up here, and this might actually allow for fluids to come out of here and go straight into that glacial precipitator. We'll try that first. So if I put you there, yeah, and you're set for output, are you filling? 
you are not filling. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. Don't you worry about it. So go ahead and break that and put it there. We'll get a couple of fluid pipes, or actually just one fluid pipe, I guess. So fluid, fluid duct. We just need, uh, I guess, I guess a hardened fluid duct will be fine. Doesn't have to be a hardened one, but that's cool. And then we'll put you like that, yeah. And we're gonna need a servo on it, right? So servo. Um, and it doesn't have to be anything fancy. It could just be, it could just be this one, I guess, right? Because it's just transferring liquids. So we'll put you there. We'll set you to redstone ignored, and you should start filling up with water. Cool. All right. So now we've got ourselves uh, a way to make snowballs. Let's get ourselves a storage drawer. Well, I want to put this into a storage drawer, I guess, because that would probably be the easiest thing to do. We can close up this floor too. So you and you get closed. Uh, I don't have, I need a, I need a, I need a, uh, a slab for that, don't I? I do. That's okay. So get a storage drawer. So storage drawer, D-R-A-W, we have some right there. Cool. And we'll put the storage drawer right Boom, there. So that should, uh, that should auto output down. Yeah? Yeah. So now that's gonna start filling up with uh, snowballs, which would be cool, right? And then we can just come over here and we can bring a, we can bring a cable off of this and, uh, and pick that thing up. So what are we gonna need to make that work? We're gonna need ourselves a storage bus. So storage bus. Uh, one of these, yeah. So let's go ahead and craft one of you. Start. Thanks. Storage. So that should us, that should just take a minute to craft. And by doing that, uh, that should be the only place on the system where we're going to allow snowballs to go. Right? I think that'll work. So right now, how many snowballs do I have in the system? Should have 12. Okay, so after we're done with this, we should see a lot more than 12 snowballs. Storage bus. That's still crafting. That might take a minute. I'm, I need to figure out why some of my auto crafting is taking so long. I don't know if it's the inscribers or if it's just other materials, but uh, there does seem to be a little bit of a delay in how quickly some of this stuff from, uh, from Applied Energistics does its auto crafting. And I, I wanna look into that and see if I can figure it out. Um, are we okay here? Are we okay? Yeah, we're okay. Cool. So storage, cool, there it is. We're gonna need some cables. I put those all away, didn't I? I did, so cables, cool. Uh, give me all of those, please, thank you very much. Um, so we're gonna put you just, boom, there. And we're gonna tell you that we want you to have a higher priority, so set you to 10. That way the snowballs always go here, and unless they can't. Okay. which <laughs> I know that makes a whole lot of sense, right? But we need to get a cable. Eh. Nope. We need to get cable eh. right there. Cool. And then come across here like this. Yeah. And is that, is that cool? That's totally cool. This should be online. Device offline, device offline, device offline. You're going to go online? You should go online. You should have plenty of channels. Channel? Online, cool. All right, so now if we go in here and check snowballs. Snowballs, oh yeah, we have 304 snowballs. So now we should be able to craft all kinds of stuff, like uh, like Signalum type stuff, right? So let's get ourselves some of these conversion kits. Uh, actually, do we want conversion kits or upgrade kits? I think we just want, I think we just want the upgrade kit because they're already upgraded to hardened. Or reinforced. Reinforced comes first then hardens, right? Eh, let's just make these. So we need 11. 11? Yeah, we need 11. So make those. Snowballs, plenty. Good. Uh, all of the other stuff is here. Good. So start. And this might take a while. So kit. Um, yeah, this is going to take a little bit. So I'll come back to you when this is all done crafting. Oh my gosh, guys, I am so sorry. I did a playback of some of the recording that I had, and I realized that I was using the wrong stinking microphone. I was using the internal microphone on my laptop instead of the Yeti. Um, so hopefully this sounds better. Hopefully it didn't sound too bad. I'm going to try and clean it up a little bit in uh, in post-production, but... Uh, 
<sighs> yeah, not good. Not good at all. But anyway, we uh, we got our upgrade kits made. I uh, actually needed 12 instead of uh, 11, so I went ahead and told it to make one more. But let's go ahead and get all these upgraded. Boom, boom. Uh, and then the rest, the rest of them should go upstairs. Um, you know, there's something I don't like about this. This is concrete, right? But it doesn't have the characteristics of concrete anymore because I chiseled it, so it's not fast anymore. I'm not sure I like that. Uh, anyway, so let's go over here and uh, and do these. And I think that might wrap it up for today because we're actually getting pretty close to ending up on, uh, to being done on time, right? Um, because like I said, I had some stuff come up tonight and had to cancel the stream and I wanted to still get a video out to you guys. But yeah, I think we're in good shape. So I added this above, the, uh, above these thermal expansion machines here. I also did that, of course, down here. Um, and I think I like it. I think it looks good. You guys have to let me know what you think down in the comments. But sadly, folks, that is all we have time for today. We are sadly out of time. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments. So make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that good stuff, and we will chat about it in kind. Also, don't forget to stop by the Discord server where we talk about all things Minecraft and, and other games too. Um, and I also want to give a very special thank you to all of my Patreon patron support staff. Um, you guys, uh, you YouTube sponsors and Patreon supporters, you guys are the bee's knees. You are the bomb diggity, and I love you guys to pieces. Thank you so much for your support in all of the videos that we put out. I could not do it if it weren't for you. But once again, folks, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. Also, don't forget, there'll be a word do world download. I'm going to package that up right now. So we'll catch you guys on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.